What is up YouTube? It's your boy Joe's Food. I'm coming at you with another video. And as you can see guys, I've gotten Resident Evil 8 Village. I mean Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I'm about to play it. Um, survival horror. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be a new thing for me. Uh yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell I got new glasses. New style. I like him. I don't know if you guys can really even tell from here, but yeah, we're about to get into Resident Evil Village. Let's go. Ooh, the lighting's pretty bad. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, My normal lights. Something's up with them right now. So it's not as bright as usual. I'm kind of having to rely on the brightness of the screen, which is, uh, you know what, let me, yes, and I'm playing a survival horror game in the dark. Very, uh, very wise of me, isn't it? English, English, subtitles on TV. Continue with these settings. Yes. Gooch. 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 I don't really. Scroll. Boom. Gooch. No, because I, I haven't played Biohazard, but I watched all of it. I watched a Burleazy player as an Evil 7. Berlizzi's mad funny. Shout out to Berlizzi. He's probably never going to hear this. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, we're about to start. Here we go. Standard, of course, because I'm not ready to play Resident Evil on hardcore. No, 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 not me. Long ago. A young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest green Man, it's really, really dark. Hold silence, on, let me see if I can do anything to fix empty. this. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit. All right, let me actually listen to the story. Come, child, quench you a thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Hey, oh. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, um, okay. warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl okay. ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. But the horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Of course. Terror filled the girl's heart as a wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Okay. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. 
Mia, I don't think that's a bedtime story you should be telling your infant child. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Right? Ethan, we're on the same page. The said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Bro, you're gonna... She doesn't understand it. Thank God. Yes, exactly. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. Bro, at this rate, Mia, you're gonna have Rose grow up to be cautious. those creepy, edgy, goth people. Go nothing against goth or any... I mean, the emo movement. But you know those really, really over-the-top edgy ones. The over-the-top ones. That's how she's going to grow up. If you give her these kinds of bedtime stories. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember. I can't blame her. Ethan soldiered on through that. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Alright. Where, where do I go? That is the question. Where is the baby room? Let me get a good look at the house. Alright, um... So, from my experience with Resident Evil, guys, I've only played... Yes, you're a big girl. We'll have a drink together, alright? Bro. You're thinking about 21 years in the future already? I don't know what the drinking laws in whatever country they're in now. My taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Alright, um... So if you guys saw me play the demo, you guys would know that I've only played Resident Evil 4 before, besides the 8 demo. I've played uh, only Resident Evil 4. So I'm not really one that's very experienced with survival horrors. And... Not only that... I'm more of the person who likes to watch survival horrors rather than play them myself. Right? So the fact that I'm playing this game, the fact that I have paid $60, $65 with tax, the fact that I did that and bought this game, and now I'm recording myself playing a survival horror. By the way, I did not look up any spoilers or anything like that. The only spoilers, quote unquote, I know are what I found, what I played in the uh, demos. And I didn't even get far in the demos. I actually did look up uh, what other people did in the demos. So that's as far as I know. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be an experience for me. You probably, you guys are probably going to see me scared, genuinely, legit. I'm not looking forward to the scares, but I'm looking forward to the thrills at the same time. Maybe later. It's, I don't know. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Okay. That sounds like a threat. All right, I'm going to just... All right, all right. Just give me give me a chance to explore the game a bit, you know. Oh wow. Okay, I just came from. All right, so she's I'm gonna put her down upstairs. Okay. Oh, what's that? Once oh. things warm up, we can go for a walk. Precious little baby. Like I said to your mom, that book's too scary for you. Exactly. Um, left or right? Let me see here first. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This house is nice, albeit. It's way too dark in some areas for no reason. It's like parts of the house are well lit and other parts are just darkness. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. Indeed. That's spooky looking. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Okay, this is not the room to go to. Wait. Oh, wait. There was another area over here. I'm 
almost there, honey. This room. Yep, that's the baby room. Let me see this real quick. Real quick, guys. I'm not trying to drag things out. I'm just trying to explore a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, a doc. February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. He finally settled down in their, our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her at least that much. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like at, that at the hospital if she didn't care. Hmm... So, Ethan is trying to move past the trauma, and Mia is trying to ignore it completely. <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ethan trying to be a dad. It's Joseph Kendo. Yep, Ethan better have went through some anime training after that. <laughs> they really don't want to show Ethan's face. Hmm. <laughs> this is a nice touch they added to the game. This wasn't really necessary, but they did it anyways. I wish it could stay like this forever. Right? Uh, but as we know, tragedy's about to unfold with Rose getting kidnapped and Mia getting shot. She's scary when she's angry. Yeah, you remember uh remember angry Mia in Resident Evil Seven when she cut your arm off with a chainsaw and stabbed you through your, she ran a blade through your hand and a screwdriver. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Ethan's gonna protect. Time for bed. All right, so Rose is asleep, and now back to Mia. She said, don't get close to her when she's cooking, so what am I supposed to do? Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. Wow. It's churba de legume. It's a local recipe. Legume? Wow. You've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. So Ethan's trying to move past the trauma. Just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy. Mia's trying to just forget it happened. Military training, it all happened so fast. Hey. Well, at least we're all together. They got military training from Chris. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <laughs> Ooh, shoulder shot, sniper. Mia, get down! Oh, jeez, jeez. That escalated quickly. Mia, oh God. Sorry, Ethan. No! Bro. What? Why? So it was a little bit different from the trailer, but still. 
I thought we were going to get a little bit of context, but no, it just happened. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Package. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Ooh. Alright, so I guess we're going to get the context as we play the game rather than it being explained from the start. I kind of figured that, but I was just wondering if we we're going to have like any kind of pre-context to what's going on at all. Seems like that's not the case. Mia just immediately got lit up. Why didn't she get down when Ethan told her to get down, though? Not saying she would have survived, but like... Hey, Doc. Flashback? the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. I hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. So what are you worried about? <laughs> She's gonna be fine. Me and Ethan sat at the same time. See, me and Ethan, we're on the same page. matter, Ethan. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Mia's holding, keeping more secrets from Ethan after all of that? Yeah. I have to take this. No way, she shouldn't be doing that. So it was clear the trauma affected Mia worse than it's affecting Ethan. Or, rather, Ethan's better at handling the trauma than Mia is. Ethan is a soldier, man. That man is built different. Have you seen everything this man went through in Resident Evil 7? He was just a regular dude. No training, as far as we know, no training. No, uh... No experience. Oh, boy. Jesus. Talking about it. Where's Chris Redfield and Rose? Who is it? <laughs> wow. So that's how we. Sh that's this how things are happening. This is how we get through. What the hell happened to you? This is what we're doing here. Can I pick up the phone? No. Eliminate the target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation, at least. Oh, okay, so, alright. Mia was the target. They had to kill her for some reason, we know that. But, they they didn't, de I don't think they were supposed to deliver Rose to Lady Demetrea or whatever his name is. I'll get her name down as we, uh, we get to, we get further in the game as they say it more. Um... Because everyone was thinking, did Chris give Rose to her? And if so, why? But it doesn't seem like that was the case. It seems like these guys were attacked. And they're from them being attacked. Bro, why is it so dark? Chill. From them being attacked, that led to... Oh, Lord. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Not one bit. It's too dark. I could barely see five feet in front of me. Bro. I know I'm going to get jump scared soon. I can feel it. I'm going to run to a zombie or a werewolf or something. Uh, 
Dude. Already, Ethan? I know you're prone to getting damage, right? Oh. I thought that was a person. I know Ethan is prone to taking a lot of damage. But, like... Already, dog? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Here, monster, monster, monster. Where? Oh, what is that? That looks like a dead thing. A bird? Ew, it's been. Oh no. This looks like some ritualistic nonsense. Yo, I don't. Come on. Don't just. Guys, I don't play survival horrors. I watch them. And I even get the chills and feel this. It's alive! Yo, stop making noise, dog. Bro, the. What the heck? I can't. Bro. Oh my gosh. Alright. My scare meter is like probably. Probably at like a four. Right now. And it's. Slowly rising. Oh my gosh. It's too dark. And the sounds and you no know bro I can't, bro I literally can't see five feet in front of me. Look at bro, it's black. I'm from this city, so I'm not used to it being pitch black. Bro. Come on. As I was saying, I get chills playing survival horrors. I mean, watching. I get chills simply just watching survival horrors. Oh, Lord. So playing them is like... An... A whole nother experience. Can't see anything inside there. So we have to go through this door here. Um. Okay. Alright. Mentally. Pro oh no. There's blood. There's blood on the floor. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do this. Alright, guys. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't know why you would do that. 
It's so dark. The world is that. For a second, I thought those were skeletons. Those onions? What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh. Bro, I am I'm not built for these kinds of games. I'm not built for these kinds of games. Is there anything I can use? Weapon? No, Ethan wouldn't have a weapon just, just on him. I'm not built for these kinds of games. I'm not. Getting this was a mistake. This is the DJ Khaled congr Bro. This is the DJ Khaled congratulations you played yourself meme. That old meme resurrected in me by getting this game. Bro. Why is this house designed like this? What the? I'm not even touching the controller. That's spooky. What is that? I don't want to see that. Bro. <sighs> this was a mistake. I'm not built for this. What? You know what? I'm just going to do it. Jump scare. No way. When I turn around, jump scare is going to happen when I turn around. Three, two, one. This game is playing with my expectations. What the? So, what is this? <laughs> what is that? I don't know what Bro Of course, there's something upstairs, so Ethan, of course, has to go back upstairs. Granted, that's probably the only way out, but, like... <sighs> Bro, I'm not touching the controller. Why is it doing that? That's spooky. That is spooky. Guys, I made a mistake. I'm not built to play games like this.
What the? Is that always there? What the heck? Crawl through blood. Oh, Ethan's hand is bleeding from the um. Is that his own blood or is that from crawling in the blood? Because I know Ethan cut his hand on the barbed wire. What? Is daytime now? I'm, I'm not complaining, but... Uh, I'm definitely not complaining that it's daytime now. But I don't necessarily feel more safe. Man, this game really played with my emotions. Where the hell am I? They really made me think I was going to get a jump scare and they didn't give me a jump scare. I'm not saying I wanted a jump scare, but... But, I feel like I'm just going to get one when I least, least, least expect it. There's two kinds of jump scares. There are the ones where the game is... There are the ones where the game is building up towards it. And the fact that they have, like, the music and... I was hoping they wouldn't let me in here. Maybe, maybe they're out? I don't have a lockpick, though. Bro. Bro. Come on, dog. I hate the fact that I'm scared. But also, part of me wants to explore. Like, uh, like Berlizzi's I Wouldn't Be Me If I Didn't Loot. Now, I'm not trying to bite his style and just do everything. But, like, I'm genuinely curious about, to what, about what the game has to offer. So, I'm trying not to let the fear inhibit me. Turn on the flashlight, dude. I'm trying not to let the fear inhibit me from actually experiencing the game. Do not enter. Bro. I feel like this is the kind of game where I'm going to get lost a lot, to be honest. Like, I'm already lost. Did I go there already? Am I supposed to go here? Where did I come from? Did I come from that way or this way? So many questions. <sighs> okay. Bro. Those are not props. What kind of satanic nonsense is this? Oh no. Y'all need the Lord. Y'all need Jesus. 
I want no parts of this. Lock due to what? Missing homeowner. Locked. All right. Will we meet people or will we meet horror? Should we close the door behind us? No, we cannot. Punch it. Joking. The heck? The door closed on its own. Spooky. Maybe it was just the wind. This is a weak knife. This is a weak knife. Granted, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yes. Boom. All right. Let's see. Let's see the combos Ethan's working with right now. One, two, one, two, two hit combo. One, two, stab. It's a. It's not a true combo. There's a bit of delay. But I can do a three hit. Oh. Alright. I'm not talking true combos like it's a fighting game, bro. Right. I got a knife. If only I was like Leon. Bro, Leon is nice with the knife, bro. Did they just run out of the house? Yeah. That's nasty. Leon was nice with the knife. You see, do you see Leon, uh... In Resident Evil 4, Leon versus Ada. And then Leon versus Krauser. Bro. Leon with the knife is valid. Let's see what lies beyond here. Jump scare? Don't open it so No, no. no. I'm friendly. Woo! I'm friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Alright, I got the I got the I got the gun. Got the burner on me. Not a dead body, bro. Wait, there's more. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all. How did I get... Alright. Guys, 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 guys. Hold on, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. First of all, how the heck did I get down here? Did one of those things push me? Pull me? Because if they did, that means it's down here. Why? Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Ethan is as scared as me. Oh, I see it. See it right there? Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh no! Why is Ethan always going through this? Ethan, you fought the Bakers. What the? Why did Why did it get closer after I shot it? All headshots, baby. All headshots. That was a chest or neck shot. Bro, why is it so fast? Too fast. Oh. Too fast. Too fast. Why is this thing dodging my bullets? No! No 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 Take the take the knife take the knife take the knife Bro I'm not dying like this I'm not die yo we're fighting we're scrapping Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I almost got clapped. Ethan really Ethan's really always taking mad damage. Like first he got his knife stabbed and cut up by Mia his left hand. His left hand really... Bro, why do the devs hate Ethan's left hand? <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can get ammo and stuff here. Supplies, herb. The herbs can't be used on their own anymore. Alright, yeah, well, I was saying. Why do the devs hate Ethan's left hand? The first game. What happened here? Bro, stop making so much noise. In Resident Evil 7. Nice. I need that to get through that gate there. But before I do that, let me just... Was I here already? Is this where I just was? Okay, there's nothing more to get here. So I shall take my leave. It was Mia stabbing him in the hand and cutting up his hand with the knife. And then he, uh... He lost his hand with the chainsaw. No, he got the hand stabbed with the screwdriver pinned to the wall. He had to pull that out himself... And then after that, he lost his hand to the chainsaw. But I am not equipped to deal with these monsters. It takes way too much damage to kill a single one. Fighting them is like a waste of bullets. And then knife fighting them is guaranteed to get yourself damaged. You have to figure out the strategy style. Bro? Bro? I have to figure out the strategy of how to deal with these things. Along with like every other kind of monster in the game. What the? Bro. That's comforting. The fact that I can barricade doors. That's a comforting thought. There's blood leaking from up here. Is one of them up here? 
Ethan, stop making so much noise, dog. Where's the blood leaking from? Or is it just someone got killed up here and there's just passive blood leaking? Bro? Alright, that was a small jump scare. Still got me, still got me. But. What the heck? Where is it? Oh. I barricade the door. Ethan staying calm. Oh, nah. What do I do? I'm not trying to waste ammo. Whoa! Whoa! Out the window? What do I do? What do I do? It's still alive? What? Light it up. Ugh. Wait, wait, wait. How do I make a... Please? Survivors? Is there a save point? Alright, 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 alright. Bro, if I didn't barricade that door, I would have been screwed. How much health do I have? Sorry. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I take one more hit, then I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait till my screen is like bloody. Then I'm gonna heal. Ugh! Ethan's. Ugh! Ethan, why are you using your injured hand, bro? You're you're just built different. Ethan, I hope you know that isn't normal. Oh! <gasps> Bro. Most people would not use their dominant hands. I mean, their uh, injured hands. So these things camp out on the rooftops too? You see how much ammo it would take? I have to unload a whole clip to kill one. And then some. Bro. Bro. Pick up the... Survive? Whoa!
come on, don't tell me I ran to a dead end. Shit. There's no end to them. Now it's time to heal. Use the environment. Fire! No. No. No, 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 no. Get up. Get up. Get off. Boom. Whoa! This is not going to work out. What the? Did I die? No. Oh. The heck is that? No, I'm dead. It's over. It's over. I played myself. I can't believe it's going to end like this. Juke, juke, juke. Where do I go? This is too unnerving, bro. If there's one up here, I'm gonna be tight. What the? There's no way. There is absolutely no way. Where do I? Bro, what do I do? Bro. What do I do? What? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What is that? Bro. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. This actually makes no sense. Bro, my heart, I can't take, bro, of, of course Ethan's getting bodied at the beginning of the game. Look at that. What? Okay. Wait, wait. 
bro. Not liking this. Ha ha ha. Very funny, guys. Nah, you know what? I'm not even... Like, I want to explore, but I just want to, like... I need to get myself out of here. I need to get myself up out of here. Okay, she opened the gate. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. This is where the Let's demo say... started. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you, the child's father. Yes. Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. I'm about Since to go mother, rescue her. I brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? When I was playing the demo, I didn't know Ethan's hand was damaged. Or did they edit it so that his... Not edit it, but did they change some things around? I guess it is editing. So that it wasn't, um... So that his hand wasn't damaged? Or did I just not notice it? Alright, um... So this is where the demo, start, demo started. Let's see something. Can I... Save the game here? But anyways, guys... That's going to do it for today. <laughs> um, yeah, that. <laughs> what can I say about this first part? It was <laughs> it was definitely crazy. I, I can tell you that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, though. Enjoyed me being <laughs> scared out of my mind. Sometimes for no reason, sometimes for good reason. I really thought I was going to be a goner there. I thought I was going to die. But um, somehow I pulled through and survived. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, I'm going to be trying to play this entire game. Um, I'm going to have to somehow do this and Final Fantasy VII Remake, both of them. But let's see how things go. But uh, yeah, guys, so it's your boy Joe Smooth out. Stay smooth. And if you enjoy seeing me get scared playing these survival horror games, or you just love, love Capcom games or Resident Evil Village in general, uh, show this video some support. Like, share, subscribe, all that. And yeah, so it's your boy Joe Smooth out. Stay smooth. Peace.